very very important topic short topic but one mcq for sure sure short and that is ultrasonography in early pregnancy specifically we are focusing on sequence of events and usg in early pregnancy very very important five star must know topics one mcq very likely coming in the exam now in patient whenever the patient is pregnant we do sonography there are two types of sonography one is the transvaginal sonography another is trans abdominal sonography now think logical very simple in early pregnancy which scan i would like to do yes always in early pregnancy we do transvaginal sonography preferred because uterus is a pelvic organ as the uterus becomes bigger and what is the advantage you will come to know as the uterus becomes bigger 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 then the scans are done through the trans abdominal so like nt scan onwards 11 12 weeks onwards so nt scan can be done through the abdominal route then all the anomaly scan very important is done through the abdominal route and in the last trimester placenta baby weight all that later sonographies are all through the abdominal route afi calculation all that is abdominal but in early pregnancy we always prefer trans vaginal sonography there is a fixed sequence of events okay and please understand from wherever till the end of the obstetric lecture whenever we say about any weeks okay it is always from first day last menstrual period so even in my gynac classes when i said that mtp allowed till 24 weeks me fee me zo up to 9 weeks suction till 12 weeks all that is from first day last menstrual period always from lmp so every time i don't have to say from lmp from lmp so the first question can anybody tell me what is the earliest sign what is the first sign or the earliest sign of pregnancy whenever the lady is pregnant yes very very important mcq gestational sac or in short form called as g sac when do we see it i'll tell you in a minute so gestational sac is seen at when okay so four weeks five days whenever the patient is four weeks five days from lmp understood that's the first now how it will appear also very very important please pay attention and something very interesting we'll discuss okay so if this is the uterus if this is the uterus the gestational sac will be seen like this okay it will be it will be seen like this within the uterus this is the gestational sac the true sac okay and two things it is well circumscribed okay proper circle because if the sac is irregular crumpled then it's not a sign of healthy pregnancy okay so if it's a crumpled sac very irregular then it's like the pregnancy is going to fail okay so generally the gestational sac slightly eccentric in location and very very important point of course well circumscribed proper circular and nice circle and the important point is if i'm drawing can you see this yes it has a thick ecogenic ring around it so you can see this is called as a des good deciduous reaction so can you see this i'm drawing like a thick circle okay it's like a thick circle okay so this is the first sign of any pregnancy on usg now what is its thick circle and all that also i will tell you in a minute okay why is this important because because in ectopic pregnancy final year student this is your gold medal diamond medal and a very very difficult virgin mcq and of course this point will be repeated in our ectopic class also that in a patient of ectopic pregnancy the main pregnancy is outside the uterus in the fallopian tube yes or no but in a patient of ectopic pregnancy if this is the uterus we will see something called as a pseudo sac now how does a pseudo sac look like it is very very thin and irregular and very thin okay so if a thin it is basically because of hormonal changes taking place because because the ectopic pregnancy secretes hormone so th that causes the changes in the endometrium so actual pregnancy is outside actually it is a ectopic pregnancy 
but this will confuse the doctor and the doctor will not look outside and he will say it's an intrauterine pregnancy. So the difference is this is thick walled proper circle and this is going to be very very thin and you can also compare the thickness what I have drawn. Okay, here I have drawn a proper thick ecogenic ring. That's called a double decidual sign. Explaining you in two minutes. So this is called as a pseudo sac. Very very important. So pseudo sac. So either in ectopic pregnancy we'll discuss the uterus is empty. This may not be seen also. So whenever the uterus is empty and the patient is pregnant, I have to think of ectopic. So either in ectopic pregnancy the uterus could be empty, empty uterus or we can see a thin walled irregular. Basically it is thin and irregular that is a pseudo sac. This is a proper true sac or a true gestational sac. Okay. Now this is seen at 4 weeks, 5 days. Now circle ke under circle. After around 2 days when the patient reaches around 5 weeks when the patient reaches around 5 weeks, we see a yolk sac. Okay. Yolk sac will appear like a circle, smaller circle inside the first circle. Okay. I'll show you the actual images also. So, inside this circle, you will see one more circle which is a yolk sac. So, okay, then they can show you this picture and they can tell you the inner circle likely to appear when? Sir, 5 weeks of pregnancy. Yolk sac is from where the baby gets the nutrition. I will also give you a nice analogy which will help you remember like the hotel and all that in 2 minutes. Okay. Now, attached to the yolk sac, uske baad, the baby ka entry hota hai. Hero, heroine, whoever. Okay. The baby will enter and you see the baby attached to the yolk sac early May. This is called as fetal pole. Now, please understand fetal pole is a radiological term. So starting may when the baby is there, you don't see the baby head and the tail. Okay. Tail is never there, but you don't see the whole baby head, lungs, intestine, uh, abdomen, femur, all that. You don't see in early pregnancy. So, just like a small blob. That tells me that yes, the baby has come. This is called as fetal pole. Okay. Fetal pole. So, I repeat the outer circle is the G sac. The inner black circle is what? yolk sac and what is this line and how do you measure the fetal pole also very very important fetal pole is measured in crown rump length crl so there's a fetal pole and very this is roughly seen at around six weeks of pregnancy okay fetal pole that tells me that the baby has come and then the baby says zinda hu main zinda hu zinda hai Okay, so what I can see is, yes, fetal cardiac activity, tuck, 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 tuck. inside this small, inside this small fetal pole, I can see a flicker on the sonography machine, tuck, 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 tuck. that is called as fetal cardiac activity, something like this, if you pay attention, like, okay, so like this, inside this, inside this purple line, you will see something like this. Can you see? Yes, like, so like this, tuck, 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 flickering, like this, flickering, flickering, flickering. Can you see the flicker? Yes, I hope you can see. So, this is like a flicker that is called as fetal cardiac activity and that also is seen at six weeks of pregnancy. Now, by latest and modern machines, very powerful machines, even slightly early, 5 weeks, 5 days. Matlab 5 weeks, 5 days, matlab ke, it's almost like 6 weeks, just 2 weeks before. Okay, so I repeat, gestational sac, 4 weeks, 5 days, yolk sac, 5 weeks, fetal pole can be seen at 5 weeks, 5 days, okay, 5.5, as early as 5 weeks, 5 days, or 6 weeks, and cardiac activity also at the same time. And you do not even have to mug it up, clap if you feel happy. The trans abdominal sonography will pick up the same thing one week later. Just add one week to the first column. So, this 4.5 will become 5.5. 5 weeks, 5 days. This 5 will become 6. This 6 will become 7. And this cardiac activity also 6 will become 7. Is this understood to all of you? So, very, very important table coming up. 5 star table, must know table. We should know this. The earliest sign, gestational sac, 4 weeks, 5 days. 
yolk sac five weeks, fetal pole six weeks, cardiac activity six weeks. As I told you, five point five, five point five also with a newer machine. Five point five means five weeks, five days. See, seven days make a week. So just after two days, five weeks, two days, ke baad ho jayega six weeks. Okay, and just add one week to the first column, and I have my second column ready. Five point five, six. 6 will become 7 6 will become 7 and of course if it's 5.5 then 6.5 6.5 okay but if you remember this traditionally 4 5 6 6 that is very very good enough now here is two important mcq let's say the earliest sign of pregnancy is gestational sac no doubt but when i see the heart beat flicker fetal cardiac activity that is a sign of Live pregnancy, isn't it? So please pay careful attention. If this extra four letters L I V E extra four letters are added in the MCQ paper, the answer changes. So first sign of pregnancy on USG, mark it as gestational sign. But earliest sign of live pregnancy, fetal cardiac activity. Fetal cardiac activity tells me that the baby is alive. So the analogy which I tell all my student is. Like when you go for your holidays and vacation, so first the hotel people will create your room. They will make your room ready. So the room is the gestational sack. Then of course they will put all the water bottle. They will stack the mini bar, give fruits, chocolates for you. That's your food, okay? Because yolk sack is the food. So clap if you like the analogy. So first the hotel room ready. It's a sack. Then your mini bar, water bottles, food ready for you. And then you enter the room. Fetal pole, and then you say, "Hurray! Yes, I love my room. I love my vacation." So that's your zinda hum hai. You say zinda, yes, super, and that's your heartbeat. Okay, fetal cardiac activity. So gestational sac, first thing to be seen. Second structure, yolk sac. Third structure, fetal pole, and then the same time, fetal cardiac activity is seen on the live machine as a tuck, 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 tuck flicker. Okay, so this is a very, very important thing. And now let us see, show you the actual pictures also. So, and I'm so happy. This is I teach. If this question has also been asked, that both questions have been asked. Earliest sign of pregnancy on USG gestational sac, live pregnancy, cardiac activity. Now see, this is again. कौन बनेगा करोड़पति चार सवाल चार जवाब. Again for heartbeat also. For heartbeat also. There are four MCQs. What are the four MCQs for heartbeat? Please pay attention. When can I hear the heartbeat with the stethoscope? With the stethoscope on the maternal abdomen. When can I hear the heartbeat? Yes, sir. That is your fetal heart sounds. I am writing with stethoscope. Stethoscope. Yes, somewhere around eighteen to twenty weeks. MCQ. There is a Doppler machine, that big black box in the labor ward, or a small pocket handheld Doppler where you put the probe, thak 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 thak, you get the baby heartbeat. That is called as fetal Doppler machine. Fetal Doppler will pick up the heartbeat. Half of stethoscope, twenty will become ten weeks. Okay.